Former Finance Minister John Sung and retired Judge Wu Kwok Hing say they have secured enough nominations to officially contest the chief executive election. But both men stress there's still plenty of work to do before the final vote at the end of March. Rachel Lung begins our coverage. The first to gain an entry ticket to the chief executive race, former financial secretary Zhang Zeng. Zeng submitted his nominations to the registration and electoral office at 10.15 this morning. I submitted 160 uh, nominations. Yesterday noontime, uh, I told everyone I had slightly over 100 or so uh, nominations. So we continue to work very hard uh, in the afternoon uh, to, to, to secure enough nominations. Uh, and we were able uh, to, to get to the, the required level. Zeng refused to reveal who nominated him. Zeng said revealing the number of nominations he got from the pan-democratic and pro-establishment camps could further divide Hong Kong. Zeng also denied his early submission was to prevent his pro-Beijing supporters from changing their minds. The election office later revealed that 125 election committee members from the pan-democratic camp nominated Zeng. A number of others were from the pro-establishment camp, including James Tian, Felix Chung and Selena Chow of the Liberal Party, as well as financier Ricky Chim and Hopewell Holdings Managing Director Thomas Wu. The Electoral Office is now validating Zeng's nomination forms. Even after obtaining the minimum number of nominations needed to join the CE election, Zeng said he will continue to seek support from election committee members in the next few days. John Zeng was not the only one bearing good news. Wu Kuo King also announced he has obtained the minimum 150 nominations needed to join the CE race. This comes after he received dozens of nominations from the political group Power for Democracy. That brought his total number of nominations to 154. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> of course, I'm very happy. Uh, 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 this uh, actually is the happiest day for, for over three months uh, after I've started to run for uh, the CE election. The retired judge said he will submit his nominations at an appropriate time. Rachel Lang, TVB News. Meanwhile, League of Social Democrats lawmaker Lung Kwok Hung pulled out of the race today after conceding he couldn't get enough support from the public for his bid. Evelina Lung tells us more about Lung and the remaining hopefuls. Less than a month after he announced his intention to run for the top job, Lung Kwok Hong told reporters today he is giving up. The League of Social Democrats lawmaker explained he has only received support from around 20,000 members of the public who are eligible voters to run in the election. This is short of the 37,790 he vowed to get in order to throw his hat in the ring. I think, well, I, I need to have uh, 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 to be humble enough to accept that, that uh, I should be more determined in the first place. If I, I was more determined, there would be enough time for me to collect 1% uh, of the uh, voters of Hong Kong. Uh, it is my uh, self-criticism. Regina Ip, who attended an election forum held by Power for Democracy with Wu Kuo Hing today, admitted she still lacks the number of nominations needed to enter the chief executive race. It revealed she has secured double-digit nominations so far, but she will not give up. Carrie Lam did not attend any public events today. Her campaign office said the former chief secretary will submit her nominations and unveil her election platform early next week. The nomination period for the chief executive election will end at 5 p.m. on Wednesday. CE hopefuls will need to secure at least 150 nominations from the 1,194-member election committee to officially run. Evelyn Line, TVB News.